guys! Helen Hart Smith here from the Heart of the Witches Path YouTube channel. I'm trying a little different angle. <laughs> so, uh, first off, let me know how you feel about this angle. Uh, I'm kind of liking it. We'll see. Playing with the, uh, I record with my phone on a selfie stick because it's easier. <laughs> So I'm just trying out some different things, just trying to keep things interesting here on the channel. Uh, anyhow, I'm here today. There's no babbling. Let's get straight to what you're here for. So I got back from convocation yesterday and, um, well... I did a little shopping at Convocation. Uh, we've talked about this before. There is a vendor room at Convocation and there's also an art room. And there's lots of different things that you can purchase there. And purchase we did. So <laughs> uh, I thought I'd share with you what I picked up. And um, yeah, if you want any further review on things, let me know in the description box. So the first thing that I wanted to start with is um, if you watched my uh, YouTube Pagan Challenge video this week, you saw this. This is my new print of Odin Father that's going to go on his altar uh, when I when I get that put together. This is like the first thing I'm thinking I want to get two. I, I want two because it's Hugin and Mugen which you see, those are his crows, if you're not familiar with that. Um, those are his crows, and I think I kind of want um, wolves, which I think I have some, I think I have something in mind, um, but I want to get a couple of things before I totally switch over. You can see behind me right there, that shelf is where Odin Father's uh, shrine slash altar is going to be set up when I, when I have everything that I need, or, you know, at least something more than just a print to put up there. Um, so that's the first thing I got. And I was that was like my first purchase in the art room. I think that might have been the only thing that I ended up buying in the art room. But there was some really cool stuff in there. Um, there's, um, I didn't buy anything because I didn't see anything that spoke to me. But there was someone that was that had a lot of jewelry things uh, made from different animal bones and teeth. Those were really cool. Someone else did drums and rattles made with natural things like gourds and turtle shells and things of that nature. And I want to say that Kathy has one that she maybe purchased last year. Nothing really spoke to me, but I'm kind of in the market for a bigger rattle and I really don't have the knowledge or the means to make one for myself. And since it's like an artistic, it's handmade, I know that it's handmade. I'm okay purchasing something like that to help support another pagan witch, you know, however they want to identify themselves. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of, I'm totally into that. I just didn't happen to see anything that, that spoke to me. So anyhow, I did pick up a few books and I was really excited to get this one. This is the Northern Shamanic Herbal by Raven Caldera. And the last time that Raven was at Convocation was like 2014, I think. And he did a class then about the shamanic technique, the, the Northern tradition shaman technique when it came to herbs. And, uh, he only had a few copies of this book with him, and unfortunately, I missed it. Um, here's a the a picture of the back, and there's, of course, Raven there. Um, so I was really bummed that I missed it, and I think I got really lucky because I think he only brought this one copy this year. Um, so I was really excited to get this. And this has um, different uh, information about herbs. So there's, the, of course, the botanical name, um, folk names as they apply to, you know, northern tradition. There's modern uh, German names, modern Swedish names. So it's like within that, that language, 
you know, what is the word for it? There's also a history and medicinal uses. There's also household uses, which I thought was kind of cool. So it reminds me quite a bit of how Scott Cumming Cunningham set up his herbal encyclopedia. So that's kind of nice, you know, to have that similarity. So this book was... Oh, I want to say it was like $24 and it's, there's an index too. That's really nice. There's right around 300 pages. Um, I will, this is through Asphodel Press, and which I think is something that Raven might have started or is a partner in or something like that. So I'll try to find a link. I'll try to link as many of the things as I can um, in the description box. So I'll try to link from Asphodel how you can purchase it. And I hope I'm saying, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and if I can't find it there, then I'll, I'll look at, um, Amazon. Okay. So there's that one. Um, another book that I bought is this one by Ellen Dugan called Legacy of Magic. And Ellen is now writing fiction books. And I'm really excited to read this. It was like coming out, this first book was coming out just after Convocation last year. And she was at Con last year talking about it. So um, I'm, I'm, I wanted to get my hands on it and just hadn't. There's three books out now in the series. This is a series. Do we have the... I'm not certain. I think it might be like just called the Legacy of Magic series. I'm not sure. Um, but I will I will link to this as well. I'm pretty sure this is available for Kindle and for purchase on Amazon. Um, so like I said, there's three books in this series out now. It is fiction. And I believe the fourth book is coming out soon. So um, we'll see how good this is. And I'll, I'll do a review as soon as I finish it. Okay? So there's that one. I also bought a copy of Conspiracy of Angels. Now you might say, wait a minute, Helen. You've been talking about this book. <laughs> you already bought this book. And you're right. I did buy this book for myself. And I have a special purpose for this book. And I think I'm going to encode what that purpose is in this video. So um, I am nearing 100 subscribers here on the channel. And I knew that I wanted to buy this book and have Michelle sign the book. So this is a signed copy by Michelle. Um, when I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So, and I, we're really close. So if you want to be a part of this giveaway, then you need to be a subscriber. Um, I'm going to make this kind of like, you know, a general... Uh, general rules for all of my my giveaways. You need to be a subscriber. You need to comment below what your favorite thing is that I purchased from the weekend. And you have to like the video. How's that? That's three things. We like to do things in threes. So giveaway when we reach 100 subscribers. Subscribe, like the video, and make a comment below as to what your favorite thing was in this haul video. Okay? And you can win this and some other fabulous prizes that I've been putting together. There you go. Um, one last book I purchased um, was this Pagan Leadership Anthology. And this is a group of essays. Um, I took a workshop about pagan blogging. Um, since I have a blog, I thought, well, that's kind of an important thing to do. So this is a group of essay essays um, done a lot by a lot of bloggers. And so it was edited by Shauna Ora Knight and Taylor Elwood. Um, they both have channels here on YouTube. So I will um, link each of their channels. Um, Taylor, there's a whole other groovy story going on with Taylor that we'll kind of get into in later videos. Sean has been at Convocation before and she's really fascinating. Um, she's very much into leadership. 
she, being the editor, they edited this um, volume, this anthology. And um, so she's an advocate for leadership, for ethics, for consent, for um not only leadership in general, but ritual leadership. Um, she is heavily involved in um, chanting, which I like and would like to be better at. Um, so this, um, we took a, a workshop with her and Taylor, and she spoke to the fact that the essays in here, um, some of them conflict you know, like not everybody's in agreement. So that's kind of nice to have varying perspectives on things when it comes to leadership. So I'm really excited to, to take a look at this and see what's going on there. So I will look for, this is available from Emanion Press, I believe is how it's pronounced. And um, so I'll make sure to link uh, that I'll link them as well if you want to order this. I'm not sure. It's probably available through Amazon. Like I said, if I can link to their pages, then I will link there. And if I can't, then I'll link to Amazon. That's kind of a new thing that I'm trying to remember to do to myself or do for myself. Um, I've let myself purchase a tarot deck. I haven't bought a tarot deck in a while. I thought I had too many. I culled a little bit, purged some, um, but I decided I really wanted to let myself buy a new one. So this is the one that I um, decided on. It's the Hermetic Tarot, and it is by U.S. Game Systems. It's by Godfrey Dowson, D-O-W-S-U-N, and it's based on the esoteric workings of the Secret Order of the Golden Dawn. And so, of course, you know, I since I'm working through the Kabbalah and uh, how the tarot connects with the Kabbalah and things of that nature, um, I thought that this was a good deck. There's a lot of symbology that connects with connects with the tree of life and everything that I'm studying this year. So I thought this was a good choice. I have seen this deck um, reviewed, I think, by Arwen on her channel. Um, or maybe it was Ember Honey Raven. I'm not sure. Um, but if you want me to do a review on it, I would love to. It is a black and white deck. There's no color whatsoever. So this is an actual card. This is the Son of the Morning, the Emperor card. <sighs> Sorry, friends keep messaging me. I don't, I can like go quiet all day, folks. And it's starting to, when I start to record, folks are messaging. I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn it off or something. Anyhow, um, so that was the tarot deck. I bought a couple of Dorothy Morrison's sprays. These are really great, you guys. And a lot of her stuff tends to be like limited edition, have limited runs, what have you. So um, I purchased this from the Coventry Creations booth. Um, and if you follow the blog, you'll know that I've been to the Candlewick shop and know Jackie from many years at Convocation, and her and Miss Dorothy are really close. Um, these are high quality uh, sprays. They smell fantastic. A little goes a long way. Um, so what I got was Rich Bitch, which is a cash flow spray, and this says the best money manifestation formula on the market, bar none. Um, this, I've heard, I've heard Dorothy speak of this and that's partially why I bought it. I'm a little, I'm a little not smelling well right now, so I can't really speak to what this, oh, this smells, there's like a lot of scents going on here. It's kind of light. There's a bit of a flower. There's a bit of almost like a, a baking or baby powder um, scent to it, but it is, it's supposed to help increase cash flow. And so we'll get that going on here. And then the other one that I purchased is Spontaneous Combustion. This is a cut and clear spray. It kills negative energy and it's byproducts on contact. And I want to say... Oh, I want to say it smells fantastic. 
let's clear a little energy. This, these are light, but they're, they work well. So you can use them for, you know, scenting a room as well as for the magical intentions. So these two products, they were like 12 bucks each. These people keep messaging. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so these, these are really nice. I have, I have a Coventry creation one that I bought. Um, that's really nice too. Okay, so now we're down to the bag. This is like the little stuff. So I brought this back for the roomie. Um, I wanted to bring her back something. Um, this is a white tea and ginger soap. This is um, this is by a company called Violet Flame Gifts. And these guys make some soaps. They make lotions. Um, there's a healing... Oh, we'll get into that healing balm in just a minute. Um, these great products... Um, and this, it smells really good. And so I got this for her, um, just as a little gift from Convocation. I also did buy her a magical candle from Coventry Creation, but I didn't want to share it here. That's like personal magic for her. So we're just going to leave. I bought her a candle and it's cool. Um, so what else is in the bag? Oh, I got two of these. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but Christopher Penzak had, should I hold this? So, um, Christopher Penzak has a line of smell of spell charms. And so what they are is they're little coins with different magical purposes. And so of course there's symbology on it to, um, to help you with the purpose. And so this one is for ancient wisdom. And I actually got this to give to someone. So that's going to be going in a, in a love box soon. So, um, I'll just let that person get it and experience it. But this is one that I purchased for myself and it's for grounding. And so it comes on this little paper and a lot of people just kind of like take it off the paper, but I have another one and I keep it in my wallet. And so to remember what it is, I think, yeah, there's stuff that's printed on the back as well, but I just wanted to keep everything together. And since I'm putting it in my wallet, sorry, since I'm putting it in my wallet, it's not getting messed up. So there's a bit of a chant on the back and then inside it tells what the symbols are about. And these are like really great coins. Um, they're a great gift. They're only, they only run about $10. And so, um, these are really cool and they're, they've got a good weight to them. So I got a couple of those. What else is in the bag? <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, this is another gift again from the Violet Flame Gifts. Um, this is a massage and bath oil. I purchased this as a gift for another friend, um, a muggle friend. And um, this is leather. Dude, this smells just like leather. And she's into, the friend that I bought this for, she's into like hot boy scents. And so I'm hoping that she'll like that. Very nice stuff. And so, oh, here we go. Heather, I believe her name is, from the Violet Flame Gifts, she makes this healer's salve, okay, in these awesome, they, they come in different sizes, but this is in, remember the lip gloss, the like, I don't even remember what it was called, when I was little, we always bought lip balms or glosses or whatever in these little tins. I bought one of these last year, and I still have like over half of it, like I haven't even hit pan uh, in one spot because I kind of dip into the same spot over and over. Um, but see how thick it is? I haven't even gone through it. Guys, this stuff is amazing. I'm going to link her site. She has larger sizes, but man, it's only four bucks for this little size. This thing is awesome. And so I bought... <laughs> Because I love it so much, I bought two, and they're both going to people. One is going um, to my secret friend with the coin, and the other one is going to my girlfriend that I bought the leather stuff for. So this is her little gift from when I went to Convocation. That stuff works amazing. Um, I spent so much money at the Coventry Creations booth, guys. It's ridiculous. Okay, this is the last of it. So one, the last things that I bought was I bought these little, like, I think they're two dram sizes, but I bought these little, they're 
um, their perfume oils, but you can use them, you know, kind of like essential oils, but they are cut, so they aren't essential oils. But I got four of them, and so I got myrrh and sandalwood, and I got cedar wood. Let's see if I can put, hang on to all these, and sweet grass. And so I got these for um, dressing candles and things like that because that's something that I kind of got a little message over the weekend that, you know, do some things on your own kind of a thing. So I'm going to be dressing some candles myself um, and going through that process. So, um, so these will come in handy along with my other essential oils to make some blends for different attributes that I want to use in spell work. So that's what I'm going to be doing with those. So um, I think that's everything I bought. I was like, I was like, racking my brain. Okay, what all did I buy? Where is it? Because of course, my coin, I had already put it in my wallet with my other coin. So I was like pulling things out. I mean, I just got back yesterday and I'm still putting stuff away. But um, yeah, it was awesome. So th that's what I bought at Convocation between the vendor room and the art room and, um, you know, buying books you know, in other places, things like that. It was a great weekend. So look forward to the vlog style podcast that Kathy and I are going to do for our experiences. And I think I'm going to have my blog post, which will post on Tuesday, um, kind of talk about my specific experiences because we took different classes. So uh, I will talk about my personal experiences in classes in that video. Okay, so that's going to be it for this time. Um, remember, there's a giveaway. So what you have to do is you have to subscribe to the channel. You have to like this video and you need to give me a comment in the comment section um, that was your favorite item. OK, so until next time, thanks for walking a little while with me and blessed be.